Sony Florida here. While it's uncommon for a lot of hostels to have a boxing equipment like this in a full-size gym like this, I'm gonna answer the question today, what is a hostel, and take you on a full walkthrough of my hostel here in Thailand. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm traveling in Thailand right now. I'm in a place called Chiang Rai. And if you're not familiar with Chiang Rai, it's up in Northern Thailand. I'll put a map up on the screen here. And aside from this map here, this whole vlog today is going to be a one take vlog. So there's gonna be minimal cuts, minimal edits, and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna walk you through room by room and try to answer the question, what is a hostel? So we didn't even really get into the hostel yet. We're still outside the property. The main entrance is here, but right here we have, as you saw in this door, is a gym. And in this door is a common area living room place. So let's go in here and check it out. This is just a cool chill area with some couches and a TV and some tables to sit at. And what's nice about this is it's so hot in Thailand that they have the air conditioning running full blast here and it's just really, really nice. So let's head on out back outside and go in the main hostel. So this hostel is called Mercy Hostel and it costs 200 baht per night to stay here. And uh, that is equivalent to right around $6.50 US dollars. So it's not too bad for one bedroom and, or one bed and an eight dorm bed. So let's go inside. This here is the reception. Hello. Hi. Everybody's super nice here. And as we walk through the reception into the main lobby area, you'll see that they have a nice area here with a pool table some chairs, a fish tank, a little library, and behind that is a kitchen. But before we go over there, I wanna show you one of the highlights of this hostel, and that is this outdoor area with a really, really nice pool. Now, I'm a swimmer, and while I like full-size swimming pools, this one will do the trick. It's not, um, it's not a deep pool. It probably only goes to your, your knees or maybe your waist, but it's, it's nice to just waddle around in there and cool off on a hot day because it is really hot and really humid here. And then you got this nice view on the other side of the, the wall here outside the property of the hostel. So on either side here, outside you see rooms on the left and the right. And I think there's something like 10 private rooms, like hotel rooms with a, a double bed or a queen size bed. And then there's 10 eight bed dorm room. So that's that's the key point to what a hostel is. A hostel is like a college dormitory room where multiple people share the same living area. Oops, a little dark here. And let's see if this room is open where I was staying last night. It is. Um, hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm just doing a little video about what a hostel is. Oh, so <laughs> if you don't mind. Uh, so this is a this is a hostel dormitory room. So there's eight beds here, as you can see, there's one up top, one down here, one up here, there, on each side. So you have eight total beds, and you just got a, a little area to sleep in with a cover, a blanket, and an electrical outlet, and a, a light for when it's at nighttime. And what's cool about this hostel is that they have these, these blinds that you can close so that you have minimal light coming in to your, your bed. Again, there's AC in here. It's super cold and it's really nice because, like I said, it's really, really hot here in Thailand. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Let's check out the kitchen next. This is not really a fully functional kitchen. It has a sink and a refrigerator, um, some dishes, microwave. You can't cook anything here, but I do have some stuff for breakfast in the refrigerator, such as almond milk and some granola some fresh fruits and a couple drinks. So that's really nice. Oh, and speaking of drinks, they do provide filtered drinking water for you. So you just grab a cup from up here and you can fill it up at the, the drinking water station here. I guess other than that, um, I don't know if this is legal or not, but here's the bathroom. So it's so a standard bathroom. You got your sinks and urinals for the guys and then um, individual shower stalls for taking a shower and well if you watch my video on the bathrooms in Laos where I was last month 
uh, these showers are a lot nicer than that. They actually have some soap and shampoo complimentary for everybody to use. And then individual stalls for toilets as well. So I think that's the majority of the hostel. As you can tell, it's mostly shared common areas, shared bedrooms, shared dormitories. And this one, while I'll say, what, I, what I'll say about this one is it's super nice relative to some of the other hostels I stayed at. A lot of them are, a lot of them can be dirty. A lot of them um, are not as well kept or modern as this one is. But in general, the concept, the concepts of what a hostel is hold the same. Shared, shared space for um, living, sleeping, all that stuff. And with that, you can expect to pay a lot cheaper than you would a hotel. So I think with that being said, I'll end this video here. If you have any questions about what a hostel is, let me know in the comments below. To date, I probably stayed in close to, I don't know, 100 hostels over the past year and a half of traveling on and off around the world. So I think I know a thing or two about hostels. Um, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.